Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to use this calculator to evaluate the derivative of a function at a value. Many times in physics and calculus and some other topics, you are asked, let's say, if this is the function of a position of an object. Then they say, find the uh, velocity of an object at two seconds. So what you do is you take the derivative and then evaluate the derivative at two seconds or a two. Uh, this calculator can take the derivative and evaluate it in the same time. Let's do it. To do the derivative or to access, we press this button by pressing shift. Now this is d of our function with respect to x. So let's enter this function here, three. In order to enter x, x is red. All these red are axis with alpha, press alpha and x and then press square so make it square minus 6x x, minus 6 and then alpha and again x plus 4 everything has been entered now we want to find uh, evaluated at a value at 2 seconds they said let's say if you want to evaluate it at 2 press equal sign we got 6 yes it makes sense 2 times 3 is 6 so we got 6x if you enter here 6 and x 6 times 2 is 12 so we got 12 here and here this will be 6 12 minus 6 is 6 yes okay so if if you want to evaluate it with some other value just press left arrow and then press delete enter another value 26.5 so 153 now let's evaluate integral the integral this is the same but you have to understand it that an integral we should take the integral of a value with a different integral take the integral evaluated at upper bound subtract it from the evaluated value at the lower bound and the calculator can do the the three steps taking the integral evaluating at the upper bound and evaluating at the lower bound so it it's it can be accessed directly with this button now the cursor is already for the function area so i press cos 2 and then alpha x close the parenthesis plus and then fraction sign x squared alpha and then x squared with the lower arrow come down 2 my equation is complete now if i go left this will go all these values it will cross one by one so the best way will be go to the right and you are here so now lower bound minus one and then go to the right again upper bound bound is eight and then equal sign blank screen wait for it to be evaluated so 94.39 this was a tutorial from equator.com i hope you've enjoyed it